Hi guys! Please subscribe to the channel and like the video to support my project. And we are starting a new adventure. Today we will visit the Museum of Ceramic in Valencia. The National Ceramic Museum of Valencia is located in the very center of the city, in the palace of uh, the Marquises de los Aguas. The building is made in the Baroque style. It was restored in the middle of the last century. And the ceramic museum is considered a real ceramic paradise in Spain. The museum collection was based uh, on uh, the private collection of González Martí, which uh, was uh, replenished and expanded over time. The palace itself was uh, built in the 15th century and restored in uh, 1740. The main door of the palace is topped uh, with the statue of the Virgin Mary, which uh, depicts two streams of water, symbolizing the rivers uh, Jokar and Turia. The allegoric image of uh, two rivers echoes the surname of uh, the owners of the palace, uh, Marquises dos Aguas. The surname is translated as two rivers. At the beginning of the exhibition, you can see the carriages uh, used by the owners of this house. The museum exhibition consists of works of uh, traditional pottery from Spain. You can also see here Greek, Roman and Arabic products, Chinese and Japanese uh, porcelain, many of which uh, were part of uh, the personal collection of Manuel González Martí. Manuel González Martí was a Spanish artist, historian and collector. For a long time, he was the director of uh, the Museum of Fine Arts of uh, Valencia. He was also the founder and uh, first director of uh, this ceramic museum. So, the building of the palace where we are located was built in the 15th century for one of the most noble Valencian families. For several centuries, this luxurious mansion was uh, perceived as uh, the personification of noble tent wells. The house at uh, that time was owned by the Rabasa merchant family, which uh, became rich first uh, through uh, trade and then through uh, transaction for uh, less in various property right uh, to the government. As I already mentioned, the palace was rebuilt in 1740. In 1949, the palace was acquired by the Spanish state and the National Museum of Ceramics and Luxury Goods, named after González Martí, was located here. In 1954, the Museum of Ceramics of Valencia began its works. In the museum, you can learn how ceramics appeared. Even primitive people noticed that fired clay became durable, does not get wet in water and is not afraid of fire. Over time, clay products became more and more complex and the design on them became more and more refined. These metamorphoses can be clearly seen in the house of the museum. This museum is uh, considered as uh, one of the most important attractions in Valencia. Its rich collection is not only of uh, artistic interest, uh, but also tells about the history and customs holidays and celebrations of the past eras. 
Now the museum exhibits more than 5,000 examples of traditional pottery art from Valencia. You can also see uh, tiles from uh, Teruel and uh, tiles uh, from Toledo and Sevilla. In addition uh, to local ceramics, uh, there are Greek, Roman and Arabic varies, uh, porcelain from China and uh, Japan as well as uh, modern objects and paintings, including works uh, by Picasso. In addition to pottery, in the museum you can see other antiques. In some rooms of uh, the palace, uh, the decoration has been restored and the furnishings have been reproduced. You can see on which sofa the dancers rested in the ballroom, at which uh, table the card players sat, and uh, what furniture appeared in the 18th-19th centuries when Europe uh, was uh, swept uh, by fascination with Eastern traditions.
the reconstruction of a traditional Valencian kitchen with all household items uh, typical for this region of Spain attract attention. This is what a traditional Valencian cuisine looked like in a rich house in the 19th century. It is uh, finished uh, with the highest quality ceramic tiles. The Red Room. Its architectural style dates from a 19th century renovation. The chairs are originals and made of lascaret and gilded wood. They bear the parallel coat of arms and are the Valencian version of Queen Anne style furniture. The Ballroom. This is the largest room in the palace. It is richly decorated and was used for entertaining guests at uh, parties held by the Marquis and Marchioness. One of its uh, distinctive features is uh, the music gallery, concealed uh, by a screen enabling uh, the musicians uh, to play without seeing the people in the ballroom. That's all for today. I thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in new interesting places.